Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it's time once again for yet more Kingdom Death unboxing videos, because it's like right around the time I finish one, there's a new sale, and then it's a new figure, and so on and so forth, and I actually get them done. So this time around we have the doll, who I was really excited, I thought that was a really cool looking sculpt there, and then we've got Summertime Cyril, I don't remember what the name was, let's take a look. Let's check her out first since I have no idea what she's called. Cyrus. Okay, well, huh, that was close. So Cyrus is not wearing much in true Kingdom Death fashion. She does come with some new gear cards. Hey, Acanthus underwear. Gives you plus one strength and evasion. Cool. Now these are beta versions, so uh, yeah, not all nice and neat. But some of you hardcore collectors slash players are, are way more meticulous about how you care for those cards as it is. All right, what do we got in here? So here is. Was it Sir I already forgot the name. My God. <laughs> Look at Cirrus. Cyrus? Kyrus? I don't know. You can see the little starfish things by her head there. I don't know if that's supposed to be a drop of something intentional. Looks like the drops of paint stuck on my fingernails. She's holding a heart. Was that what she's holding? I guess so. Didn't realize that at first. Surprised that both legs are already attached. Actually, for a photo resin figure. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of cleanup on that part, at least. What's in the little baggie? Something tiny. That's not good. Let's hold on to that. Another something tiny is slipping through my finger. God, where'd it go? There it is. I don't know what that is. I will hold on to it. A lantern? Okay. I don't know what those are. And her hat. Or whatever it is. Almost like a laurel wreath. Maybe what broke were little pieces of her hair. Hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I'm like, I was just sort of kind of interested in her. I, I like this model more. I'm tired of painting skin and flesh. So the first thing that popped out to me is she's not even human. I thought that was kind of cool. Do I paint her all kind of like ceramic? I'm not even sure. Hm. I obviously did not get a first run. It's been a while since I had a first run. That's okay. I don't care about that. Although I do have a couple of number ones. That's always kind of neat to brag about. See, that body looks neat. I think that one's going to be a fun one to paint. Even for somebody like me who's a poor painter, I think it's going to be a fun one. Regardless. Uh, let's take a look at her needle sword here. I'm gonna clean that off a little bit. Much like my fingernails. Right. And are those knives? What's on my fingertip there? I honestly don't know. Let's hold on to whatever that is. Just to be safe. Here you can see the out of focus head. Still out of focus head. There we go. I like the filigree all over the limbs. That's going to need a bit more cleanup. Wow. That's okay. We can handle that. No, this is junk. Okay. I think we can handle both of these. This doesn't seem too daunting. So. Sit back, relax, give me a moment, we'll get them both built, we'll grab a couple of Kingdom Death models, see how things turn out. Sit tight. 
All right, we got our two Kingdom Death ladies pretty much put together, and I think I found everything that got broke. So here is Cyrus, Summer Cyrus, which... Okay, I honestly have been scratching my head trying to figure out, did we ever get a Cyrus? To specify the fact that this is the summer version of her, because I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering one. And I know on the blurb about the model, it said something about her magma lobster armor, which I'm even more curious about. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a little drop of blood from the heart she's holding, or if that's just some kind of weird artifact that needs to get cleaned up. So two of her little ribbon ponytail things came off, and I'll be honest, I don't recall now which one was there and which ones I glued. I have no idea. So I guess that's a good thing. Otherwise, I mean, she is pretty straightforward. It's going to be a challenge painting her, and I do appreciate the fact that at least this time around, for a photo resin model, it was designed to actually have both of the feet basically really nicely lined up, so there's a good solid base for it to actually attach to the base. That really helps. I was thinking, I've pinned enough of these figures at this point, I don't want to if I don't have to. You know just notice there's a little drop on her breast there too. I don't know if those are supposed to be there. I'll have to look. Alright. <clears throat> and then we have the doll. I really like this model. It's just so different. Very out of the norm for Kingdom Death. And I think when they do figures like that, I mean, I personally really enjoy it. Now, I may not be the best painter, but I will absolutely give this a good shot. I'm thinking a nice dark purple with those black straps. It's going to look really cool. I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do about the skin tone. I'm thinking I'm going to use like totally an off-white. I want it kind of like that ceramic look. Whether I do the lips or not. She's got very obvious, you know, lipstick style lips. At least on the art cards. So. For reference. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind. I thought, you know, why don't we grab a couple of the photo resin models that kind of break the norm for a Kingdom Death stuff. Was it Winter Solstice Lucy? No, 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 no that's not. Frozen Star, I don't remember what her name was now, shoot. Here is what I think was the very first of the 3D printed models, photo resin models, that Kingdom Death has done. The female architect, which was in a black Mylar bag, one Black Friday, many years ago. So you can see, at least from an older one and even a more modern one, even the sitting position, she looks pretty decent. Squeeze in sci-fi Urza there. Ezra, Urza, I don't remember which. Probably my worst print that I've got from them. Maybe it doesn't look as bad since I painted it. I remember the styrations and the, the, the layer lines on it were pretty bad. Of course, she's been sitting here gathering dust for quite some time, but that's okay. But even size-wise, it's not too bad. Oh, shoot. What was this model's name? That Every bowstring that they sent was totally broken. I can't remember. At one point, she was really tall. <laughs> Not so much now. What was this, the barrister? Or was this the noble? There was a noble a long time ago, and I broke it, and I'm still kind of pissed about that. I don't think I ever did a video on her. God, I can't remember this one's name. And I know they made like a big 54 millimeter version, and it was like a, a big debacle about the quality of it. My favorite as of recent. At least recently painted. Lantern armor Aya, right? Who's been broken multiple times. She keeps on trucking. So I think overall they'll look pretty nice together. Should I grab some of the ones with the very frilly Lucy Lucy skirts? But I think these two are gonna fit nicely with the collection. 
definitely unique looking. I'd say if I had to pick one over the other, I'm definitely going to go with the doll. Although Lucy, I think, is going to look... Lucy. Sirius is going to look pretty neat once you get some bright varieties of colors there. So hopefully we will see them back on this channel in the relatively near future. I've got a couple of other Kingdom Death models that are in need of finishing up, though. So hopefully we'll get to them first. But fingers crossed. Keep your eyes peeled. Those Monday videos we always put up will have something painted in the future. I'll try to post them in the pictures, too, so that way you guys can keep your eyes peeled. We'll put a link down below if you haven't checked out the Kingdom Death website. There's always something on there worth checking out. So if you haven't seen it lately, chances are there might be something new. And with that said, this has been Hydelord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.